My name is Stephanie Sorensen and this is my video assignment for ABE 170A2, Science, Technology, and Environment. My research topic is on water pollution and I will explore some subtopics related to water pollution. It's important when looking into water pollution to know its precise definition. According to Webster's Dictionary, pollution can be defined as the action of polluting, especially by environmental contamination with man-made waste. There are several types of water pollution, including surface, groundwater, and chemical water pollution. Surface water pollution can occur in any common water source we have, such as our oceans, lakes, and our rivers, too. We as consumers are the biggest contributors to this problem as we discard pounds of garbage into our waterways every day. Groundwater pollution can also be a major problem because of the pesticides that contaminate our drinking water that we receive mostly from aquifers. The third type of water pollution is chemical. Oil spills caused by chemical plants pose a major threat to our wildlife, in particular birds. If oil comes in contact with a bird's wings, they may lose their ability to fly inevitably, in turn causing their quality of life to reduce greatly. Two of the biggest contributing factors to water pollution are sewage and marine dumping. Sewage containing human waste, among other elements, can be harmful because it releases bacteria into the water causing severe health problems. When we discard items such as aluminum cans or plastic into the waterways, we are creating marine dumping pollution that harms many of the animals inhabiting our lakes and oceans. Without question, water pollution also has an enormous impact on our health as well as those of the animals. Some of these documented side effects of consuming polluted water include vomiting, skin rashes, and even reproductive complications. Many serious illnesses such as respiratory and cardiovascular sicknesses have also been reported. To fight the battle against water pollution, there are a few simple changes we can make to our everyday lives to improve our water conditions. First off, we can turn off sinks and faucets when we're not using them, as well as taking shorter showers. This can reduce the amount of water that will later have to be decontaminated once it hits the sewers. We can also monitor the kinds of materials we're discarding into the waterways, such as plastic and cans, to make sure our animals are also less subject to threat as well. Water pollution is an increasing concern in today's society, and with a rise in going green environmental efforts, we are becoming more and more educated on the risks of pollution as well as the benefits to conservation efforts. The main issue is spreading awareness across communities. When people see how water pollution affects them directly, they are much more likely to get involved. We can reduce water pollution. We just have to be willing to take the steps to do so.